Hi, my name is Maxim Wengerov and I'd like to present to you the top tip for practicing the violin and the great concertos like uh, Tchaikovsky. We start with the finale of the Tchaikovsky. Uh, the music is fast, so you need to make sure that you have the great articulation. Yeah? So you need to practice it slow and slow practice is very important. There are a few elements to that. So you have to practice the right hand. Make sure that you, your hand and your fingers are moving flexibly. The difference when you do it with the whole arm, you see how clumsy and how uh, you, you, you cannot actually direct your movements, cannot direct the phrase. Uh, then you practice. Uh, and the best way to practice this passage is to play legato. Mm. And make sure when you cross strings, your elbow anticipates the movement to the next string before actually you play it. So. And you have very earthy and nice, uh, beautiful sound on that. Next is you practice this with the uh, different uh, uh, rhythm exercises. Uh. Once more. Make sure you do allow enough time for brain to process and to make this change of the rhythm. So if you're not ready, don't play, just wait, yeah? And now the reverse. Uh, you may have trouble just playing it uh, without music, so just put the music and that will help you to exercise these rhythms. The third exercise, you play detaché. Mm. Using the little finger of the right hand, because that will allow you to have more flexibility in sound and in phrasing. Now, there is a crescendo from piano to forte. Increase the speed of the bow. And now, a little faster. Even faster. There is another thing to that is spiccato. So when you go from the uh, detaché uh, on the string, it's like you're walking very fast and finally you run. Uh, lighten the ball. But the movement of the right hand and the fingers are the same. So once more. <laughs> 